Hi, and thanks for joining me. It's Tim Marvel. Hey, I want to dive a little deeper into communications today as we start thinking about how to communicate better so that we can have a better life and share relationships. We can do relationships better by understanding a few of these things. Now, you may not be a salesperson, and that's okay. Maybe, maybe you're just worried about the relationships you make with other people, whether it's at church, the gym, maybe you're in school, maybe, maybe it's just you're meeting other people your age and you're just at that point. So how do I know that I'm communicating better? And we talked yesterday a little bit about sending, receiving, and acknowledging uh, a response from somebody. Today I want to talk a little bit about words, tone, and body language. And, and I always find it funny because we're in a very techie age where millennials are very comfortable with their smartphones or smart devices. And they constantly send text or emails. And it's the primary means of communication. Uh, career Builder says 68% of the kids coming out of college are not able to hold a one-on-one -on -one interview when looking for a job. So just think about how stressful that might be for them because they're so used to just typing away. So let's think about that. So words only being 7% of your communication. I need to understand I can't just text and email and get all the information and contact people the way they want. There's too much I can't see. So as they go a little deeper, we start talking about our tone. See, have you ever picked up the phone and someone, a loved one on the other end of the phone is struggling and you can just hear it. Matter of fact, in training, when I go around the country and set up business development centers where we took inbound calls, we told them to put a, a mirror in front of them and we said smile and dial because people can hear your tone. We know if it's good or bad. If it's just the words we get on a text, I have no idea what context that's taken from you. Could be happy, could be sad. Then no, it's just letters. Unless you capitalize all, and I think that's screaming at you. That's probably not a good thing. And then body language. Body language being 55% of communication. It's not what you said, it's how you said it, but it's also your body language. So if, it's like when we scold kids and they bow their head and they won't look at you. See, that's body language. See, eye-to-eye -eye contact is one of the most valuable things that you can do when you're trying to communicate with others. So when I think and I try to put all those together and I realize how valuable they are, how much time do they spend teaching us how to do that in school, in college? Even once we get on the job, regardless of what we do, it doesn't matter what job we have in what organization. If I don't understand these basics of how to communicate, it's going to cost me in the long run. So do me a favor. Keep following me. Let's, let's drill down on some of these things and let's find a way to move you up the ladder or whatever it is you want to do. Maybe you're looking for a spouse and you gotta have you got to need to be able to communicate with, with that other person. So... Thanks for following me, Tim Marvel, 10 Seconds Daily, or jump on YouTube, and the channel is Tim Marvel. So we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.